Worry, fear, and frustration. Those are just some of the sentiments undocumented migrants say they are feeling as President-elect Donald Trump prepares to re-enter the White House. Thank you so much for choosing KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Oriana Botaro. The former president made several promises regarding policies aimed at curbing the number of undocumented immigrants in the country, including tougher border enforcement and mass deportations. Although plans are unclear, Ardiana Castillo spoke to local experts about the potential proposals and their possible impacts. Diana. We're going to have to seal up those borders. Border security, immigration enforcement, and mass deportation have all been big selling points for soon-to-be President Donald Trump. We want people to come back in, but we have to, we have to let them come back in, but they have to come in legally. And now, as president-elect, we do know he and his staff are already looking at some of Biden's executive orders on immigration to see what can potentially be rolled back. One of the big changes that's going to happen hypothetically is that if the president-elect uh, decides to, to void those executive orders that have been signed by the Biden administration, it does put a, a fairly large group of people uh, in a new category where the risk is they are, in fact, deportable. One of Biden's executive orders is CBP-1, an app where migrants arriving at the U.S.-Mexico border seeking asylum can pre-schedule appointments for processing and maintain guaranteed asylum eligibility. While it's unclear if this will stay, many worry that it won't, already having gone through the process. Este, con la... We are in this situation of, what do I do? What are we going to do? What's going to happen to us? With the rumors going around of canceling CBP-1, it's become more complicated. Experts tell us Trump's immigration plan could directly impact millions of people, including those lacking legal immigration status as well as children born in the U.S. However, the process to remove people already living in the country would be lengthy, with federal officials having to investigate claims, request warrants from immigration judges, and extensive court hearings. Some adding that this potential plan may have big economic impacts. We would have huge impacts on our um, on our economy. You know, there are, are immigrants that work in in all levels of of our um, of our communities. You know, you have immigrants that work um, in the agricultural field. You have immigrants that work in the food industry. You have immigrants that work in manufacturing. It's important to point out that nothing has been set in stone yet, but sources close to the matter say day one of the new administration may start with people who have committed crimes. His administration could also look at migrants already flagged for removal at the border. In the newsroom, I'm Diana Castillo, KTSM 9 News.